It's finally here. Tesla just launched the Model 2 Senior Edition under $30,000, and it's not what anyone expected. While other automakers take 12 to 18 months to build a production line, Tesla did it in 82 days with 6,500-ton gigacast machines and three battery options. But here's the real shock. This car was engineered specifically for drivers over 50, with wider door angles, softer controls, and comfort-first design. Could this be the EV that changes everything for an entire generation? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about what really happened. Before any official announcement, industry insiders started noticing something strange. Supplier movements didn't match normal patterns. Satellite images showed unusual activity at Tesla's facility. Equipment was arriving in quantities that made no sense for a standard update. Then, 82 days later, the line was operational. Think about that for a second. While Ford takes 18 months to retool a single factory floor, Tesla built an entirely new production architecture in less than three months. How is that even possible? The answer lies in what Tesla calls linear cellular layout. Instead of the traditional conveyor belt system, where every car moves through the same rigid sequence, this line operates like a living organism. Each station is an autonomous cell that can work independently. Parts don't travel across the entire factory. They move in short, calculated paths. Less movement means less time, fewer errors, and dramatically lower costs. It's the difference between a traffic jam and a perfectly synchronized highway system. But here's where it gets interesting. This wasn't just about speed. Tesla was testing something far more ambitious, a production system that could be replicated anywhere in the world in under 100 days. What if this 82-day timeline isn't a one-time achievement, but a blueprint? What if Tesla can now drop these modular factories into any market and start producing affordable EVs faster than competitors can even approve the paperwork? Now, those two 6,500-ton gigacast machines sitting at the heart of this line? They're not just bigger versions of what Tesla's been using. They represent a complete reimagining of how cars are built. Traditional manufacturing requires welding together 270 separate parts to create a car's front and rear structure. The gigacast compresses all of that into two massive aluminum blocks in seconds. No welding, no manual alignment, no room for human error. But Tesla didn't stop there. They modified the aluminum alloy itself, reducing fragility while eliminating three kilograms of unnecessary reinforcements. The result is a structure that's both lighter and stronger than anything in this price range. Here's what the competition doesn't want you to know. Volkswagen's ID.3 requires 52 meters of machining corridor to complete this process. Tesla does it in 31 meters. That 14-second time savings per unit translates to 390 hours saved annually. On a factory producing 110,000 units per year, that's the difference between profit and loss. And those machines sit on reinforced concrete slabs with vibration-absorbing plates. Why? Because at this scale, even microscopic shifts can cause defects. Tesla engineered this line knowing they'd be running it 24-7 for years. The question is, how many other automakers are thinking that far ahead? This is where Tesla's thinking becomes truly radical. The entire production line is divided into five independent modules, each with its own buffer system and error isolation. If one module stops for maintenance or calibration, the other four keep running. Toyota has been trying to achieve this for decades. Tesla did it quietly, while everyone was focused on their stock price. The battery installation alone is a masterclass in precision engineering. 
Instead of using a wide, cumbersome module like the Model Y, the Senior Edition uses a narrower design fitted by three robotic arms with a 0.7 mm margin of error. That's less than the width of a human hair. The battery bolts directly into the cast structure as if it was always meant to be there, because it was. This eliminates five minutes of assembly time per vehicle. On a line producing 300 cars per day, that's 25 hours saved every single day. Do the math over a year, and you'll understand why this car can sell for under $30,000, while others struggle to break $40,000. The modular approach also means Tesla can scale production without rebuilding everything. Need to increase capacity? Add modules? Want to integrate aluminum ion batteries at scale? Update specific modules without touching the rest. It's like having a factory with upgradable hardware. No other automaker has this flexibility. Here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Tesla didn't build this car to compete with the Model 3. They built it to serve a market everyone else has ignored. Drivers over 50 who want electric mobility but don't need 0 to 60 times or 500 mile ranges. The entire cabin is assembled as a single ergonomic module, like a capsule entering a spacecraft. The door hinges require minimal effort. The steering wheel has lighter resistance to prevent fatigue. Even the seat rails open at wider angles, making it easier to get in and out. This might sound simple, but it's revolutionary. The auto industry has spent decades chasing the 25 to 35 demographic with aggressive styling and performance specs. Tesla looked at the data and realized something obvious. Older drivers have money, want reliability, and don't care about Nürburgring lap times. They want comfort, simplicity, and freedom. So Tesla built a car that delivers exactly that, with the same engineering precision they dedicate to rockets. The interior buttons are larger and more intuitive. The fabrics are softer. The audio system is calibrated for mid to high frequencies, the range that deteriorates with age. Even the trunk opens lower to the ground for easier loading. Every single decision was made with the user in mind, not the engineer's ego. That's rare in this industry. Now for the part that might change the entire EV industry. Tesla isn't betting on one battery chemistry. They're deploying three simultaneously, each designed for specific needs. The launch version uses LFP batteries with 42 to 46 kilowatt hours capacity. Not glamorous, but rock-solid reliable with over 6,000 charge cycles. That's 15-plus years of worry-free driving for someone doing 15,000 kilometers annually. For cold climates, there's the sodium-ion option with 38 to 40 kilowatt hours. These batteries maintain performance down to minus 22 degrees Celsius, while being 22 to 28 percent cheaper to produce because they don't use lithium, nickel, or cobalt. For a retired couple living in Minnesota or Canada, this solves a problem most EV makers pretend doesn't exist. Range drops in winter aren't a minor inconvenience. They're a deal-breaker. Sodium ion eliminates that fear. Then there's the wild card, aluminum ion. Still in pilot phase, these 18 to 22 kilowatt hour modules can recharge in under 90 seconds in laboratory conditions. Tesla isn't using them as the primary battery. They're positioning them as auxiliary range extenders for ultra-fast urban charging. Imagine stopping at a grocery store, shopping for 10 minutes, and leaving with 50 kilometers added to your range. That's not science fiction. That's what aluminum ion enables. The genius here isn't just offering options. It's creating supply chain resilience. If lithium prices spike, Tesla has sodium. If sodium supply tightens, LFP holds the line. If aluminum ion matures faster than expected, 
Tesla's already integrated it into production. While other automakers panic over raw material shortages, Tesla built a system that can't be disrupted. That's the difference between reactive and strategic thinking. Automated quality control cameras check every installed part in real time. If there's any deviation, even microscopic, the system adjusts or flags it immediately. This reduces end-of-line rework and speeds up vehicle release. For drivers over 50, an audience that values stability and safety above all else, this isn't just a feature. It's a promise. The production capacity tells the real story. 110,000 units annually on a single shift. Potentially 128,000 with two shifts. Tesla built this line to scale fast and serve a market others have abandoned. What happens when millions of baby boomers realize they can get a reliable, comfortable EV for less than a mid-spec Honda Civic? What happens when that car comes with Tesla's charging network, over-the-air updates, and a 15-year battery warranty? The industry is about to find out. So, here's what this really means. That question from the beginning, could this be the EV that changes everything for an entire generation? The answer is yes, but not in the way most people think. Tesla didn't just build an affordable electric car. They proved that an entire production system can be deployed in 82 days, anywhere in the world, serving markets others have written off. This is the blueprint for democratizing electric mobility at scale. The Senior Edition isn't the end game, it's the proof of concept. Once this modular factory approach gets replicated across multiple continents, once aluminum ion batteries move from pilot to production, once this three chemistry strategy becomes industry standard, the $30,000 barrier won't just be broken, it'll be shattered. And when that happens, the entire automotive landscape shifts permanently. What comes next? Watch the supply chain. If Tesla's competitors start scrambling to secure sodium and aluminum supply lines, you'll know they've seen what's coming. This is just the beginning. What do you think happens when every major automaker tries to copy this system? Can they move fast enough? Or is Tesla already five years ahead? Drop your thoughts below. This is Tech Revolution, where we break down the innovations reshaping our world. For the latest on what's coming next in automotive and beyond, you know where to find us. The revolution isn't coming. It's already here. Tesla's $25,000 Model 2 Senior Edition just solved the problem nobody saw coming. Getting in and out of your car. The seat lifts you up 50 millimeters automatically. Sounds boring? Here's the twist. This senior tech reads your heart rate, adjusts suspension 25 times per second, and costs less than a Civic. While competitors charge $43,000 for adaptive comfort, Tesla packaged luxury-grade AI into a budget EV. Is this really for seniors? Or did Elon just hack affordable luxury for everyone? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about what actually happens when you're 65 and climbing into a Nissan Leaf. Your knees protest. Your back tightens. You grip the door frame and lower yourself down, hoping you won't need a hand getting back out. Now Tesla's saying they've fixed this with sensors and motors. But here's where it gets interesting. The Model 2 Senior Edition's seat doesn't just adjust. It detects your weight distribution the moment you approach the car, then lifts itself 50 millimeters higher than normal ride height. You slide in without the knee-bending gymnastics. When you're ready to leave, it rises again, reducing the effort to stand by what Tesla's internal data suggests.